So I did want to, since you're talking about the style of your t-shirts and, and we could even mention the style of these graphic novels and the style of some of your album covers have caused some concern in the Christian community. Um, where do you find inspiration for the art on your album covers? And what would you say to some of the people who say, those things are demonic? Obviously, yeah. we don't agree with them. But what would you say to them? And where do you actually get your inspiration for the art on your sure. album covers? Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't really mind the the if there are people that are like, that's demonic. And it's it, I, I don't bother with those people. And unless... <laughs> Yeah. But when I say it, I don't even mean it in a mean way. I, yeah, I, yeah. I I've talked to enough of them that I know their hearts are in the right place. And funny enough, we probably would agree on ninety eight percent of like theology and things yeah. like that. And so I usually go, I know their hearts are in the right place, and they see it, and, and they just don't understand it. And and I don't I don't want to use one scripture out of context. All right. So I am aware that this is not. I'm not about to like. I'm not about to win a theological argument with this passage of scripture. Yeah, but just yeah. maybe understand what I'm getting at. You know, this passage of scripture that says, "To the pure, all things are pure," and and of course that's said in, in in the instance of people of of you know eating meat and that were sacrificed to idols. I think of that sometimes in in terms of this. There are things that we go through in life that you just you liked. For instance, I've always loved um, comic books. I don't know. I love Spider-Man since I was a kid. My older brother loves Spider-Man. And Same I here. just was like, oh, these comic books are, they're so cool. Yeah, it just looks so great. And, and, and it never would have crossed my mind ever that it would be idolatrous in any way. I'm uh -huh. reading the comic. I look at the Green Goblin. The Green Goblin never looked like an actual goblin to me. It was, it was a comic book character. So to me, it was all, it was make-believe. It was good versus evil. And it was just something that I liked. And one time I posted a picture on my social media. I collect, I collect toys and statues and I've got an amazing statue of Venom. Venom is a Spider-Man villain. Yeah. Venom is an alien. If you didn't know who Venom was, I guess you could think he looks kind of like a demon, uh -huh. it but it never crossed my mind that Venom looked like a demon. He was, he was an alien. I don't know. And somebody yes. was really offended. <laughs> and I and I understand why they're offended. I was like, uh, to me, that's a little bit of a, that never meant that to me. And I'm not trying to dishonor the Lord. So I think that once you get into comic books, or if you collected rock albums when we were kids, or those huge vinyl albums, and they had all these awesome, I would call it fantastical artwork, you know, like uh, fantastical meaning uh, I don't know, Conan the Barbarian type artwork of like yeah. other worlds. And some of it was futuristic. Some of it was more like, you know, dragons and things like that. It, it's almost kind of like it's a world of its own that I think a lot of people never looked at and, and it never meant something pagan to them or something like that. So a lot of the times I will just say that's kind of what I was raised in. It never meant anything bad to me. So when I meet people that have a problem with it, I don't mind it at all. I just say, hey, I understand where you're coming from. I want to honor God with this, and I don't believe that this dishonors God um, any more than I believe would believe that the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe would dishonor God. And I do, <laughs> and I do realize there are Christians that do think that dishonors God. Um, yeah. but, but for me, I think it's a great story of good and evil. So my ideas usually come from what do I think? Um, I mean, art is supposed to be provocative. And I don't mean, I don't want to sin. I don't want to dishonor God. But I like the idea of saying something like demon defiant that might get somebody going, oh, what is that? Oh, that's kind of cool. What does that mean? Yeah. You know, even if you're not a Christian, that sounds kind of cool. You know, you're, you defy demons in your spare time. Yes, I do. So so let, let's have let's have a talk about what that means. And, and, and it's a great conversation starter. So our album covers, I would say, usually... Um, try to reflect some sort of spiritual principle. Our album, The Wake, you know, was me wrapped up in uh, bandages, you know, almost like a like a mummy, like I had just come out of a coma from a wreck or <laughs> something. And and all you can see is my eyeball, and it's it says awake. And and people will say, well, some somebody once said that it was the Illuminati because uh, because you could see my eye, but the bandages Gosh. went like this, and it made a triangle. <laughs> and uh, 
And and I was like, no, I, I, at the time, I didn't know what the Illuminati was, so I had to look it up. And I was like, uh-huh. no, it's not Illuminati. Anyway, <laughs> um, but it's a it's a great conversation starter. What is this about? Well, what this means is that I was dead to sin, but I have been made alive to Christ. You know what I mean? I was dead in my trespasses, but I have been made alive through the death of Jesus Christ. It's a great conversation starter. And I think that's what great art does, in my opinion. I agree wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly. Some people say our name isn't God glorifying because it's like it's unique. And it's like, you know, people say, oh, it's hip. You're trying to be one with the world. No, we're just ourselves. And God made us who we are. And and God gave us personalities to make us unique and different. And we're using all of those differences to glorify God. And I, I mean, no, Bible thinkers isn't demonic. And neither is skillet <laughs> and, and neither is doing anything that makes you unique in your art and in your and your talents that God has given you. And, and it's not a bad thing to use something that's really cool to look at to wheel people into the truth of the gospel. There's there's nothing wrong with that. 